This is the painful regret a narcissist hides when they will lose you forever. Today, we embark on an exploration into the intricate realm of narcissism, focusing on a captivating aspect that veils their psyche, their deepest regret. What might be the mysterious origin of this remorse? It's a regret that goes beyond the ordinary, deeply embedded in the core of human connection. For the narcissist, this profound lament doesn't concern past wrongs or the pain they may have caused others. It's not about the trials they inflicted upon individuals. Instead, it's a self-serving sorrow revolving around the loss of control and access to what can only be described as grade A supply, the ideal, tailor-made source for a narcissistic individual. If given the chance, narcissists would custom design their supply, much like creating a personalized teddy bear at a Build-A-Beer workshop. Picture selecting the skin, the stuffing, the voice, all meticulously tailored to their desires. Though peculiar, this analogy remarkably captures the essence. The inherent human yearning to be valued and significant resonates with many, often silently influencing our emotional terrain. This desire to matter is deeply etched within our souls. If you've gone to great lengths for a narcissistic individual, showering them with affection, supporting their endeavors, and weathering storms together, their lament isn't about your love, it's about the dominion they once held over you. Their remorse doesn't extend to the mistreatment you endured. It revolves around their recurrent entanglement in it. They don't regret you as a whole. They mourn the absence of a resource many would consider top tier. Someone who validated their existence and stood steadfastly by their side. It's essential to recognize that a common trait among narcissists is their struggle to treat others with kindness. In their distorted perspective, viewing others on equal ground was challenging, even when those others displayed superiority in various aspects, whether wealth, stature, aesthetics, or more. Their cognitive landscape was a realm of delusion, a coping mechanism to offset inner insecurities by perpetually convincing themselves of their innate superiority. Seeing people as equals posed a challenge. While narcissists may indeed lament the loss of their access to you, these sentiments often remain concealed. Some may become obsessively fixated, hastily seeking new sources of supply and concealing their remorse behind a facade of exuberance. They might immerse themselves in fresh relationships or careers as a distraction from their inner turmoil over losing control over you. However, outward expressions of regret are scarce, given the colossal nature of their egos. It's crucial to remember that, beneath their inflated egos, narcissists are human beings. Yet, Admitting wrongdoing and recognizing the need for change rarely find a place within their realm. Their pride and ego loom large, making it rare to witness diagnosed narcissists genuinely embarking on a journey of self-improvement. Even in the depths of a narcissist's psyche, where unseen tumultuous currents of emotion churn, a remarkable paradox unfolds. Faced with your imminent departure, they stand as stoic sentinels, unmoved by the tempest within. The facade of unyielding composure remains their steadfast ally. In their world, the display of emotion, the slightest crack in the veneer, equates to an admission of frailty. Paradoxically, they acknowledge the potency of emotions and vulnerability, viewing them as hallmarks of inner strength. It's a nuanced understanding that dances on the fringes of their consciousness, tantalizingly out of reach. Yet, here lies the enigma, the narcissist, having relinquished what might have been their most cherished treasure, struggles to articulate the maelstrom of emotions swirling within. You might have once been the radiant beacon that illuminated their existence, but this truth remains obscured, concealed by layers of pride and the unyielding edifice of their ego. Do narcissists ever reflect on the relationships they'd left behind? 
Astonishingly, they do. Ex-lovers whom they've wronged occupy the recesses of their thoughts like haunting spectres. However, the admission of such reflections remains a threshold they dare not cross, a matter of pride and ego, as they grapple with the weight of what could have been. When dealing with narcissists, or toxic individuals, one must grasp a vital concept. Their lamentations only surface when they've genuinely lost you, not merely the spectre of your absence. It's crucial to make yourself inaccessible, even in the presence of shared responsibilities like children. They may still have a tether, but it's your presence they must relinquish. It's a journey towards self-contentment, even if that path leads to solitude rather than seeking solace in a new relationship. While some narcissists may secretly harbour remorse for their actions, open confession remains a rarity. Regret may manifest through obsessive or harmful behaviours like stalking or relentless harassment, often linked to the loss of access to you. However, it's crucial to understand that genuine remorse typically emerges when contact is severed, when they face the full consequences of their actions. Essentially, their regret hinges on your complete absence. However, this sentiment isn't universal. And even when present, it doesn't guarantee improved treatment in the future. Returning to a toxic relationship should not hinge on the hope of their remorse. Instead, empower yourself, stand resolute, and break free from the cycle. Deception lies in believing that things will miraculously change. If a decade hasn't spurred transformation, what distinguishes the present? Scrutinize the narrative you tell yourself and resist the illusion that a narcissist will undergo a complete metamorphosis solely due to the remorse of losing you. Thank you for interacting with this content. Please remember to like, subscribe and convey appreciation for your ongoing support.